officials say this will leave more than 4 million people in the UK more than £80 a year worse off. OK, uh, now, Stuart's a pretty prolific Twitter. If any of you follow him on Twitter, you see he's very good at keeping us updated about what's coming up here on France Van Just started in the last few weeks. I'm prone to a few tweets myself. Uh, it's six years, Stuart, since the first tweet was sent. Wow. Revolutionised our job in many ways, at sure least in did. the media, the yeah, way yeah. we operate, the, mo the way we communicate, and the way that we can follow stories. And it's also helped drive many revolutions. Think Egypt, think Iran as well. Back in 2009, their elections, uh, Twitter gave the Iranian authorities a big scare uh, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the impact that had in driving social unrest. Of course, the Iranians didn't have a revolution, but Tunisia as well. Uh, it was Twitter that was helping drive these things. Uh, let's just take a look at some of the numbers, though, because uh, as Twitter celebrates its sixth birthday, uh, there have been a lot of questions over what sort of uh, model, uh, what sort of revenues Twitter can get. Those are the kind of that's the timeline wow. for Twitter. You can see up, uh, yeah. those key events. You've yeah, got yeah. the uh, Iranian elections of 2009, the World Cup as well. Lots of tweets sent, and of course, uh, latterly, and perhaps the most famous event for Twitter were the revolutions in countries like Egypt and uh, Tunisia. Uh, we can cross now to the Indian city of Chennai and Ab Hishek Arora. He's an analyst for Candlestick, uh, one of the few firms that have actually crunched a few numbers on Twitter in the last few years or so. Uh, good morning or good afternoon to you, Abhishek. Many thanks for joining us. Uh, as I say, you're one of the few firms who have done some numbers on Twitter. Uh, the revenue, we saw some growth forecast figures there show uh, that in the next four years or so, uh, Twitter's going to bring in around a billion dollars. But of course, people yeah. often compare this company with Facebook, which has a much greater valuation. Do you think there's a viable business in Twitter? Yeah, I definitely believe it's a viable business. Uh, they have uh, built up more than 400 million registered users, of which approximately 200 million visit Twitter every month. So it's a good place for advertisers to spend money. Uh, in terms of profitability, uh, when you compare with uh, Facebook, it's more about when would the Twitter reach profitability. It's more of a question of when not. Take. And do you think and it's a, is it a good place for products. advertisers, do you think, to spend their money? I was saying, is it a good place for advertisers to spend their money? It's one of the best marketing medium out there, and the best thing is it's free to use. And with the increasing user base and usage, the Twitter ecosystem is getting crowded. And to reach out to users, these marketers and advertisers are likely to pay more to get more eyeballs for the content on the Twitter. OK, Abhishek, we'll have to leave it there. We're getting a bit of interference on the line there. Many thanks indeed for talking to us. That was Abhishek Arora from Candlestick Advisors. Remember, you can always tweet Stuart. Or Owen. <laughs> or me. We're both on there. <laughs> there you oh, go. You can't avoid it. We're journalists. You can't help it. Owen, thank you very much. More from uh, him very shortly, of course. The latest on the situation in Toulouse. To uh, Louise is here, in fact, uh, after the break. Stay with us.